What a beautiful day for a run. Sun's out. Everything's so green because of the rain. It's nice and cool. Today the bike's staying here and instead I'm going to be doing part one of my multi-part series uh, exploring some of San Francisco's parks um, on foot. Today uh, I'm going to be doing one of my regular runs uh, through Golden Gate Park so join me. Let's go. art installation. They light up at night. They look pretty cool. Been doing them here for a couple of years. They sort of pop up periodically over the winter. It gets dark earlier. Let's catch up with the segways. See if we can take them. garden. Normally full of roses, so it's technically it's still full of roses, but they're not flowering right now. But come summer, this area will be a riot of color, as they say. As you can see, there are quite a few trails to be found in Golden Gate Park. If you know where to look, they just crisscross the park in all sorts of different directions. Aside from the traffic noise, it's easy to think that you might be somewhere out in the wilderness. One of the very special things about Golden Gate Park, much of it is, you know, not so manicured. It really gives you the sense that you're out in nature. One of a couple of waterfalls in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Take my life in my hands in this little stretch. This is the disc golf course. So periodically. Disc golf discs will come hurtling through the air. Just have to keep your eyes open. A lot of disc golfers out today. All right, coming up on Spreckles Lake. This is well known for model boats. What a beautiful day for a run. Sun's out. Everything's so green because of the rain. It's nice and cool. 
lots of people about enjoying the, the day. All right, we're coming up to the bison paddock. They're not always about, but maybe they are today. Let's have a look. Don't actually see any out there today. Maybe they're around the other side. Uh, they're a little far away. I don't think you'll get to see them from here with the camera. Interesting fact. If you ever see a bison burger on the menu, they just, uh, you know, pick off one of these and voila, bison burgers. To clarify, none of that is true. These bison are not used for burgers. I read that Golden Gate Park used to have a lot more uh, animals roaming about. Some of them roaming about quite freely, like. I don't know, peacocks and um, maybe even, I could be making this up, like zebras and things like that too. And now there's just this paddock with the bison and also wild animals like coyotes, which you'll see frequently, but also wild turkeys and then the usual suspects, squirrels and whatnot. Owls, I've seen some owls before. It is the intersection. Get across here. One of two uh, windmills. The other one is sort of on the southern end or southern side of the end of this park. Uh, this one was constructed. Uh, I don't know but I believe they were constructed to pump water when the park was first being built. They're not functional anymore, as far as I know. I never see the, uh, what are they called? Fins, maybe? I don't think that's the right word. Sails? Not sure. Anyway, I don't see them rotating, so I don't think it, uh, they actually work anymore, but they're very well preserved and quite beautiful. Approaching Ocean Beach. It's a beach and it's next to the ocean. All right, let's keep it going. The other one of the two windmills. Now heading up MLK Drive. A lot of these roads have been pedestrianized fairly long term, hopefully permanently, including this one, or at least sections of it. So, having enjoyed running mostly downhill, this of course means uphill slog to get back again. <sighs> Let's get to it. This uh, westerly end of Golden Gate Park is my favorite. Labyrinthine paths running every which way. Let's try this one. I think I've done this one before. It's like a, what do they call them? A lunging pavilion. I don't know. Place where people ride horses. Yikes. Someone just fell off a horse. Landed with quite a heavy thump. Uh, I think she's okay. Doesn't look like much right now. Bit of a muddy, muddy pit. Polo fields. I don't recall polo ever being played here. I'm pretty sure that 
hasn't happened for quite a few years. It's a little boating pond and Strawberry Hill in the middle, which I'll sometimes run up, but not today because I'm feeling pretty tired. It's gone about maybe, I don't know, six or seven miles so far. Next stop, maybe the De Young Museum. So many people, oh boy. Excuse me. Collision. Oh, it's a nearly, nearly a terrible accident. It's Academy of Sciences. And I'm back where I started, more or less. So, thanks for joining me on this loop of Golden Gate Park, part one of my multi-part series, exploring San Francisco's parks. On my runs, make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.